worrying on so many levels this. Not only does North Korea claim to have tested a hydrogen bomb said to be 10 times more powerful than the last one they tested, but they also claim they can now miniaturize it. And that is something that analysts thought would take them years to, to, to do. Uh, they've also claimed that they can put it on top of an intercontinental ballistic missile, meaning potentially this could reach the U.S. Now, the test took place in the early hours of the morning, and uh, they released images showing Kim Jong-un soon afterwards inspecting what they claim was this new hydrogen bomb. North Korea last carried out a nuclear test in September 2016. The test was carried out in the early hours at a test site in the north of the country, built deep inside the mountains. The secret of communist state said that this, its sixth nuclear test, was a, quote, perfect success. The explosion registered 6.3 on the Richter scale. That is almost 10 times more powerful than their last one. And it was so large that it caused a second earthquake. North Korea has repeatedly defied UN sanctions to develop nuclear weapons, which could potentially reach the mainland U.S. U.S. sniffer planes have now been sent up to detect traces of radiation. And National Security Advisor General McMaster spoke to his South Korean counterpart about an hour after the test. And they will now consider deploying the most powerful U.S. tactical weapons and U.S. strategic military assets to the Korean Peninsula. And, of course, this comes just four days after President Trump tweeted that talking was no longer an option. It comes almost a month after President Trump said that any more provocation would be met with fire and fury. So now everyone waiting to see just how the U.S administration is going to respond to this and that will develop of course throughout the day mm -hmm. and it, it seems like Benjamin they, they felt the need to wave their finger at us because of this last h-bomb test which was allegedly underground we didn't believe it I guess and he wanted now with all of these that's where we're seeing all these state images coming out from the media from North Korea right yeah, that's right. It is very hard to verify anything that comes out of the rogue state. Uh, of course, uh, the security services will be poring over the pictures that they released, trying to get any evidence from that picture of a bomb to ascertain exactly what it is. But the scale of this alone suggests it is a new bomb uh, technology, which they have not shown before. Uh, and of course, that is incredibly worrying, along with the fact that uh, they claim they can miniaturize it. This is a game changer. Uh, and I think that, you know, having seen sanctions not working, uh, there's going to have to be another approach taken. And there's been condemnation from around the world, including most significantly China, which has come out and strongly condemned this as well. So, of course, they're going to have to get involved. And uh, we will progress, uh, yeah. follow this through the day, and it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Right, game changer, quite frightening stuff there. Benjamin Hall, Life Force. Thank you so much, Benjamin.